What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a sniper scope effect in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, or 13. Now just before I get into this video, if you would like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now as you can see on the screen, I just have raw footage imported into Sony Vegas and we are going to add a sniper scope effect onto this footage. So the first thing you need to do is come to your video track, right click it and then click duplicate track. So now you'll see two of your video tracks. You'll then want to come to video effects. If you do not see this tab right here, come to view windows layout and then click default layout. From here you want to look for cookie cutter which is right here, then drag on the default one onto the top video layer. Now from here you want to make sure your colour is whatever colour you would want it, the shape is on circle, the method is set to cut away all but section, come to border and just pull it up a little bit so you can see it, completely up to you how thick you have it. Then you want to come to size and just position it to a size that you want. So about there is good for me. We can now exit out of this. Now come to the event pan and crop. You can make it zoom in, so if you have scale about center checked and also lock aspect ratio checked, if you zoom this in, you'll see the sniper scope will also zoom in. And look at that, that is how simple it is to do. You can even zoom out, but remember if you go too far out, you'll see the video like that. So you can see you can zoom in like that. If you want to animate it, so let's say it starts off not zoomed in and then it eventually zoomed in make sure sync cursor is checked come across a few seconds so i'm on four seconds now and i'm going to make this zoom in on this part right here just like that from there i'm going to exit this and if we play this back you can see it's slowly zooming in and it's staying on one position and look at that now of course it doesn't look the best just yet because we haven't actually got a proper scope so I have a scope, I got one off Google, a link to this will be in the description. I'm going to drag it on top of the layer and then just spread it out like that. Now you'll see the cookie cutter is a bit too big, so we need to come and position it. So we're going to come back to the effects tab, we're going to come to cookie cutter, we're going to come to the size, and we're just going to shorten the size down. And then we're going to come to where it says center, press this arrow, and just put it into the right position. So just put it into a good position that's good for you. And there we go. I think that's good. Yep, that's good. And now if I exit out of this and play this from the beginning, you'll see, like that, we have a scope effect. And this, the good thing about the image I got, you can see it's actually got the gun and it's also got the hand. So it looks more realistic. Now, what else can we do? Well, we can also add night vision. So, again, come back to the video effects tab. We're going to come to color curves. And from here, we're going to drag on night on to the first video track. Not the cookie cutter track, the first video track we had. And you'll see it'll make the background go dark. So you can X out of this. And then, of course, we want the scope itself to have a night vision effect. So come down here until you see gradient map, which is right here. And then you'll see night vision. Well, now we're dragging this on to the sniper scope cookie cutter effect. Not the scope, but the cookie cutter one. And as you'll see, that is what we'll get. Now of course it doesn't have to be green, but I'll stay with green because of course it is a night vision colour. And if we play this through now, you'll see it gives it like a nighttime feel. And then it gives us a night vision effect on the scope. And you can see it looks very, very powerful and the zoom itself, it keeps it in clear crystal HD. So that is how you make a sniper scope effect in Sony Vegas. Like I said at the start of the video, if you would like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when you're posting and what I'll be posting. Also be sure to go and check out my game channel, I'll post four times a week. And finally check out my Snapchat which will show you what I do throughout my day. Yes, and casual savage here, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, 
Um, peace.